Animal Sacrifice, Wikipedia article audio Animal sacrifice is the ritual killing and offering of an animal usually as part of a religious ritual or to appease or maintain favor with a deity. Animal sacrifices were common throughout Europe and the ancient Near East until late antiquity, and continue in some cultures or religions today. All or only part of a sacrificial animal may be offered, especially in the context of ritual slaughter. During the Neolithic Revolution, early humans began to move from hunter-gatherer cultures toward agriculture, leading to the spread of animal domestication. In a theory presented in Homo Nikans, mythologist Walter Burkert suggests that the ritual sacrifice of livestock may have developed as a continuation of ancient hunting rituals, as livestock replaced wild game in the food supply. Ancient Egypt was at the forefront of domestication, and some of the earliest archaeological evidence suggesting animal sacrifice comes from Egypt. The oldest Egyptian burial sites containing animal remains originate from the Battery culture of Upper Egypt, which flourished between 4400 and 4000 BC. Sheep and goats were found buried in their own graves at one site while at another site gazelles were found at the feet of several human burials. At a cemetery uncovered at Hierakon Polis and dated to 3000 BC, the remains of a much wider variety of animals were found, including non-domestic species such as baboons and hippopotami, which may have been sacrificed in honor of powerful former citizens or buried near their former owners. According to Herodotus, Later dynastic Egyptian animal sacrifice became restricted to livestock, sheep, cattle, swine, and geese, with sets of rituals and rules to describe each type of sacrifice. Prehistory Ancient Europe By the end of Copper Age in 3000 BC, animal sacrifice had become a common practice across many cultures, and appeared to have become more generally restricted to domestic livestock. At Gath, archaeological evidence indicates that the Canaanites imported sacrificial sheep and goats from Egypt rather than selecting from their own livestock. At the Monte Diacati in Sardinia, one of the earliest known sacred centers in Europe, Evidence of the sacrifice of sheep, cattle, and swine has been uncovered by excavations, and it is indicated that ritual sacrifice may have been common across Italy around 3000 BC and afterwards. At the Minoan settlement of Phaistos in ancient Crete, excavations have revealed basins for animal sacrifice dating to the period 2000 to 1700 BC. In Judaism, the korban is any of a variety of sacrificial offerings described and commanded in the Torah. The most common usages are animal sacrifice, zeva shalamim, and Allah. A korban was an animal sacrifice, such as a bull, sheep, goat, deer, or a dove that underwent shechita. Sacrifices could also consist grain, meal, wine, or incense. The Hebrew Bible says that Yahweh commanded the Israelites to offer offerings and sacrifices on various altars. The sacrifices were only to be offered by the hands of the Kohanim. Before building the temple in Jerusalem, when the Israelites were in the desert, sacrifices were offered only in the tabernacle. After building Solomon's temple, sacrifices were allowed only there. After the temple was destroyed, Sacrifices was resumed when the second temple was built until it was also destroyed in 70 CE. After the destruction of the second temple sacrifices were prohibited because there was no longer a temple, the only place allowed by Halakha for sacrifices. Offering of sacrifices was briefly reinstated during the Jewish-Roman Wars of the 2nd century CE and was continued in certain communities thereafter. The Samaritans, a group historically related to the Jews, 
practice animal sacrifice in accordance with the law of Moses. To animal sacrifice appear in the New Testament, such as the parents of Jesus sacrificing two doves and the Apostle Paul performing a Nazi rite vow even after the death of Christ. Abrahamic Traditions Christ is referred to by his apostles as the Lamb of God, the one to whom all sacrifices pointed. According to the penal substitution theory of atonement, Christ's crucifixion is comparable to animal sacrifice on a large scale as his death serves as a substitutionary punishment for all of humanity's sins. Some villages in Greece sacrifice animals to Orthodox saints in a practice known as kurbanya. Sacrifice of a lamb, or less commonly a rooster, is a common practice in Armenian Church and Tewahedo Church. This tradition, called Maduk, is believed to stem from pre-Christian pagan rituals. Additionally, some Mayans following a form of folk Catholicism in Mexico today still sacrifice animals in conjunction with church practices, a ritual practiced in past religions before the arrival of the Spaniards. Judaism Animal sacrifice was instituted in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, a minor Latter-day Saint faction founded by James J. Strang in 1844. Strang's Book of the Law of the Lord deals with the topic of animal sacrifice in chapters 7 and 40. Given the prohibition on sacrifices for sin contained in 3 Nephi 9,19-20, Strang did not require sin offerings. Rather, he focused on sacrifice as an element of religious celebrations, especially the commemoration of his own coronation as king over his church, which occurred on July 8, 1850. The head of every house, from the king to his lowest subject, was to offer a heifer, or a lamb, or a dove. Every man a clean beast, or a clean fowl, according to his household. While the killing of sacrifices was a prerogative of Strangit priests, female priests were specifically barred from participating in this aspect of the priestly office. First fruits offerings were also demanded of all Strangit agricultural harvests. Animal sacrifices are no longer practiced by the Strangit organization, though belief in their correctness is still required. Christianity Neither the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints nor the Community of Christ, the two largest Latter-day Saint factions, ever accepted Strang's teachings on this subject. Strangit Latter-day Saints Muslims engaged in the Hajj are obliged to sacrifice a lamb or a goat or join others in sacrificing a cow or a camel during the celebration of the Eid al-Adha, an Arabic term that means Feast of Sacrifice, also known as Al-Id al-Kabir, or Kurban Bayramai in Turkic-influenced cultures, Baker Id in Indian subcontinent and Riraya Kurban in Indonesia. Other Muslims not on the Hajj to Mecca also participate in this sacrifice wherever they are, on the tenth day of the twelfth lunar month in the Islamic calendar. It is understood as a symbolic reenactment of Abraham's sacrifice of a ram in place of his son. Meat from this occasion is divided into three parts, one part is kept by the sacrificing family for food, the other gifted to friends and family and the third given to the poor Muslims. The sacrificed animal is a sheep, goat, cow, or camel. The feast follows a communal prayer at a mosque or open air. Islam The animal sacrifice during the Hajj is a part of nine-step pilgrimage ritual. It is, states Campo, preceded by a statement to intention and body purification, inaugural circumambulation of the Kaaba seven times, running between Marwa and Safa hills, encampment at Mina, standing in Arafat, 
stoning the three Mina satanic pillars with at least 49 pebbles. Thereafter, animal sacrifice, and this is followed by farewell circumambulation of the Kaaba. The Muslims who are not on Hajj also perform a simplified ritual animal sacrifice. According to Campo, the animal sacrifice at the annual Islamic festival has origins in Western Arabia in vogue before Islam. The animal sacrifice, states Philip Stewart, is not required by the Quran, but is based on interpretations of other Islamic texts. The Eid al-Adha is major annual festival of animal sacrifice in Islam. In Indonesia alone, for example, some 800,000 animals were sacrificed in 2014 by its Muslims on the festival, but the number can be a bit lower or higher depending on the economic conditions. According to Leslie Hazelton, in Turkey about 2,500,000 sheep, cows and goats are sacrificed each year to observe the Islamic festival of animal sacrifice, with a part of the sacrificed animal given to the needy who didn't sacrifice an animal. According to the Independent, nearly 10 million animals are sacrificed in Pakistan every year on Eid. Countries such as Saudi Arabia transport nearly a million animals every year for sacrifice to Mina. The sacrificed animals at Id al-Adha, states Clark Brook, include the four species considered lawful for the Hajj sacrifice, sheep, goats, camels, and cattle, and additionally, cow-like animals initialing the water buffalo, domesticated banteng, and yaks. Many are brought in from North Africa and parts of Asia. Hinduism Other occasions when Muslims perform animal sacrifice include the Akika, when a child is seven days old, is shaved and given a name. It is believed that the animal sacrifice binds the child to Islam and offers protection to the child from evil. Killing of animals by Tabiha is ritual slaughter rather than sacrifice. Practices of Hindu animal sacrifice are mostly associated with Shaktism, an incurrence of folk Hinduism strongly rooted in local tribal traditions. Animal sacrifices were carried out in ancient times in India. Hindu scriptures, including the Gita, and the Puranas forbid animal sacrifice. Animal sacrifice is a part of some Durga Puja celebrations during the Navaratri in eastern states of India. The goddess is offered sacrificial animal in this ritual in the belief that it stimulates her violent vengeance against the buffalo demon. According to Christopher Fuller, the animal sacrifice practice is rare among Hindus during Navaratri, or at other times outside the Shaktism tradition found in the eastern Indian states of West Bengal, Odisha, and Assam. Further, even in these states, the festival season is one where significant animal sacrifices are observed. In some Shakta Hindu communities, the slaying of buffalo demon and victory of Durga is observed with a symbolic sacrifice instead of animal sacrifice. The Rajput of Rajasthan worshipped their weapons and horses on Navaratri, and formerly offered a sacrifice of a goat to a goddess revered as Kuldevi a practice that continues in some places. The ritual requires slaying of the animal with a single stroke. In the past this ritual was considered a rite of passage into manhood and readiness as a warrior. The cool Devi among these Rajput communities is a warrior Padavrata guardian goddess, with local legends tracing reverence for her during Rajput Muslim wars. East Asian Traditions The tradition of animal sacrifice is being substituted with vegetarian offerings to the goddess in temples and households around Banaras in northern India. Traditional African and Afro-American Religions 
There are Hindu temples in Assam and West Bengal India and Nepal where goats, chickens, and sometimes water buffaloes are sacrificed. These sacrifices are performed mainly at temples following the Shakti school of Hinduism where the female nature of Brahman is worshipped in the form of Kali and Durga. There are many village temples in Tamil Nadu where this kind of sacrifice takes place. In some sacred groves of India, particularly in western Maharashtra, animal sacrifice is practiced to pacify female deities that are supposed to rule the groves. Animal sacrifice and masse occurs during the three-day-long Gadhamai festival in Nepal. In 2009 it was speculated that more than 250,000 animals were killed while 5 million devotees attended the festival. In India, ritual of animal sacrifice is practiced in many villages before local deities or certain powerful and terrifying forms of the Devi. In this form of worship, animals, usually goats, are decapitated and the blood is offered to deity often by smearing some of it on a post outside the temple. For instance, Kandan Buddy is the reigning deity of Kantamal in Bodh district of Orissa. India. Every year, animals like goat and fowl are sacrificed before the deity on the occasion of her annual Yatra slash Jatra held in the month of Aswina. The main attraction of Kandan Buddy Yatra is Gusuri Puja. Gusuri means a child pig, which is sacrificed to the goddess every three years. Kandan Buddy is also worshipped at Lather village under Mohangiri GP in Kalahandi district of Orissa, India. Notes Bibliography The Religious Belief of Tabara, a form of animal sacrifice of Balinese Hinduism includes a religious cockfight where a rooster is used in religious custom by allowing him to fight against another rooster in a religious and spiritual cockfight a spiritual appeasement exercise of Tabara. The spilling of blood is necessary as purification to appease the evil spirits, and ritual fights follow an ancient and complex ritual as set out in the sacred Lantar manuscripts. Buddhism and Taoism generally prohibit killing of animals, some animal offerings, such as fowl, pigs, goats, fish, or other livestock are accepted in some Taoism sects and beliefs in Chinese folk religion. In Kaohsiung, Taiwan, animal sacrifices are banned in Taoist temples. In Japan, Ayamanti was a traditional bear sacrifice that was practiced by the Ainu people. Animal sacrifice is regularly practiced in traditional African and Afro-American religions. The landmark decision by the Supreme Court of the United States in the case of the Church of Lukumai Babalu IV. City of Hialeah in 1993 upheld the right of Santeria adherents to practice ritual animal sacrifice in the United States of America. Likewise in Texas in 2009, legal and religious issues that related to animal sacrifice, Animal rights and freedom of religion were taken to the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in the case of Jose Merced, President Templo Yoruba Omo Orisha, Texas, Inc., v. City of Ulis. The court ruling that the Merced case of the freedom of exercise of religion was meritorious and prevailing and that Merced was entitled under the Texas Religious Freedom and Restoration Act to an injunction preventing the city of Ulysses, Texas from enforcing its ordinances that burdened his religious practices relating to the use of animals.